Bills coach Sean McDermott said he doesn't follow much social media, but he did happen to see some of the videos Bills fans posted of their celebration to the playoff drought ending. One of the things that stands out that brought a tear to my eye a little bit is when they showed the reaction of the different restaurants and get-together places that were going on out there of the different reactions when we got in, McDermott said Monday after ending the Bills' 17-year playoff drought. And then the concourse the setting in the concourse when our fans who were at the game were watching the Cincinnati game count down there. It was pretty cool to watch. Ralph Wilson would have been over the moon, Mary Wilson told the news Monday that her late husband would have been so happy for the fans and for Buffalo. And with all the good things that are happening in Buffalo right now in the community, this puts an exclamation mark on it. I think this is a picture of the future for the organization. L.E. Sean McCoy has a chance to play in the playoffs, the Bills running back was in a short walking boot after the game, but coach Sean McDermott said he has a chance to play Sunday. X-rays on his right ankle came back negative. Kyle Williams H.S. coach not surprised by his touchdown, if there's anyone who knows about Kyle Williams' athleticism, it's his high school coach, who used to line Williams up in the backfield more often. Stats belie bend but don't break success of Bill's defense, defensive coordinator Leslie Frazier says he's more concerned with allowing point than allowing yards. Bill's safety Jordan Poyer said his vehicle was burglarized on New Year's Eve, Poyer said he lost his wallet and iPad, among other items. It was not known if he had confidential Bill's info on the iPad. Doug Marone on facing the Bill's the past is the past, ex-Bills coach and current Jaguars head man Doug Marone said Monday. Sure, man whatever you say. Five things to know about the Jaguars, the Bills wild card opponent had one of the NFL's best defenses this season, ranking second in sacks and interceptions. Checking in on Marcel, former Bills defensive tackle Marcel Darius had an excited but R-rated response to playing the Bills in the playoffs. There's always a West New York connection, the voice of the Bengals, a West New Yorker, calls touchdown that sent his hometown Bills to the playoffs. Bills fan go the extra mile, Bills fans have been paying it forward, making donations to Andy Dalton's charity for beating the Ravens. You'd think I played for the Bills, he said of his social media love. What the first round of the 2018 NFL draft looks like right now, we know where non-playoff teams will pick in the coming NFL draft. Hint, the Bills aren't in the top 20. CBS, no point one broadcast crew to call Bills Jaguars, but the Bills are 0-3 this year with that crew on the call. CBS Catalan provides a Bills memory, his call of Kyle Williams' touchdown was a classic, Alan Pergament said. Three up, three down, Tyrod Taylor was up after the Bills' win over the Dolphins. What they said, Sean McDermott on the Bills reaching the playoffs, Bills coordinators on playoffs, facing Jaguars, changing culture.